Good morning, K2. Welcome back from spring break. This is Mrs. Conception, and we're here with our morning meeting. I'm so happy to have you back after a week of resting and having fun at home. I hope some of you guys were able to do the activities on the document that was sent to your parents about visiting different national parks and learning about them. That was really, really fun. I got to visit a few places during the week. Um, maybe I can hear what you learned um, when we have our Zoom this week. Okay, but let's start off with our morning song. Remember our morning song with the spelling? So let's look at our letters, follow along with my pointer. Okay, ready? And it goes like this. G-O-O-D-M-O-R-N-I-N-G. Good morning. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, uh. G-O-O-D-M-O-R-N-I-N-G. Good morning. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, uh. You guys are probably really good at spelling that now. So, great job. Nice singing. Let's read our morning message. And remember, Miss Conception is going to type this up this week so you guys can actually see it on your screen when we look for sight words. I know last time we had a really hard time with um, seeing it from far away. So, listen carefully with your ears. And then when we go over it on Friday, you'll be able to see it a little more, more clearly. Okay? So, today's date is April 20th, 2020. Dear K2, welcome back from spring break. Did you learn about national parks or do something fun you want to share? This week, we are learning about how to keep our earth clean and how to measure. Our letter is V and sight word is all. Love, Mrs. Conception. So this week, boys and girls, there's actually a holiday called Earth Day. And it's a day for us to remember that the earth is our home and we need to take care of it and that we should be giving back to it and trying our best to make sure that our earth is nice and clean and healthy. So we're going to be reading some books about earth and finding different ways to help um, so that when you guys are grown up, um, the earth will still be here and be a beautiful place for you to enjoy. Okay, so that's all we're talking about Earth Day. And then our brains are going to grow even more with math. We're going to learn how to measure things, see if things are long or short or tall or um, heavy. So you're going to be learning a little bit about that with Miss Pham. And then um, you're going to be learning with me um, how to listen for words that start with a V and how to, to read words that start with a V. Do you remember what sound V makes? Hmm. I heard somebody say it. Went, Can everyone do that? So we're going to be learning the letter V, like violin, this week. Okay? Um, and our sight word is all. And the way you spell all is A L L. Can you guys pop that with me? A L L all. One more time. A L L all. Great job. So we're going to try to remember that sight word and try to look for it in your books. I'm sure that there's the word all in a lot of places, okay? So let's do our calendar. Okay, so t this month is still April. And do you remember how many days there are in a week? You're so right, we have seven days, okay? So Misconception is actually gonna do seven days like this, this time, okay, ready? We're gonna sing it. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And last time we were together, it was actually Friday. It was our Zoom meeting, and it was the 10th. But we had a whole week off for spring break. So we're not going to go to the 13, we're not going to go to 14, not 15, not 16, not 17. We're going to go to Monday the 20th, okay? Monday the 20th. But let's see, how many days should we add? But actually, we don't need to add these days because we wouldn't be at school. So we wouldn't count those towards our days of learning. So we actually just need to add one more day to our straws. Good thinking. I was about to add five more straws, but that wouldn't be right. Silly misconception. Okay, so today's date is Monday, April 20th, 2020. You're right. And we're only adding one straw. So let's get to our counting 
You guys are getting so good at counting these straws. I'm going to have to do it quickly so you guys can help me. Ready? Count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Then we bundle that up. Keep it in your head because we're going to count on 100. Still counting by tens. 110, 120, 130, 140. Nice. Keep it in your head. 140, we're going to count on. But now we're just counting by ones. Okay, so 140, 141. 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 140, <gasps> seven. <laughs> and we don't need this over that. 147. Nice. Can you guys help me find a seven? Last time I had a hard time. Okay. Is this a seven? Nope, you're right. That's a Three. Ooh, is this a seven? Mm -mm -mm. Not a seven. That's a two. Ooh, is this a seven? You're right. Across the sky and down from heaven. That's how you write the number seven. Great. So we're going to change our six to a seven. And you have been growing your brains and working hard for 147 days in kindergarten. Okay. Great job, great job. Um, so now we need to put on our scientific eyes and make some observation out our window. What does the weather look like today? Hmm. In this conception's window, it looks like it's actually windy. So I see some of my leaves and my trees moving and it looks like it's partly cloudy. I see a few clouds in the sky, but the sky is pretty blue. So, today's weather is windy and partly cloudy. And remember, your weather might look slightly different depending on where you are and what time of the day you're watching this video. So, yours can be totally different than mine. And the season is still spring, okay? It's springtime, flowers are blooming. You might have some allergies, but that's okay because it's a really pretty time of the year. Okay, now can you guys help me with the days? Today, is oh, I don't remember where can I look all right behind me good job good thinking you can look over here and we said that today is Monday so that's a really great place to start Monday starts with a letter mm, I heard it mm, M Monday so is this Monday no that's an F that's Friday hmm Ooh, how about this one? Is that Monday? No, that's a W. Woof, woof. That's probably Wednesday. It's that Monday. Great job. Good thinking. Mm -mm -mm. Monday. So today is Monday. Tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, T Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday is right here. So I like t -t 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 Tuesday, and remember, don't get tricked. This also starts with a t, -t, -t, -t but remember the T and the H make a f, f sound. So it's not this one, it's this one, Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday, yesterday, yesterday. That's the day before Monday, so we have to go backwards with Sunday. And Sunday starts with a t, -t, 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 -t. S and the next letter is a uh, a uh, a uh, u, s and the u, s and the u. Is it the pink one or the red one? Remember, s Sunday, s a uh, day, s a uh, s a. Uh. <gasps> Great reading. It is the red one. It's Sunday. Awesome. All right, you guys want to say the days with me? Are you ready? It goes like this. Today is Monday, tomorrow will be Tuesday, yesterday was Sunday. Great thinking and great work. Thanks for sharing all your ideas with me and helping me out with our morning meeting. Um, 
I really appreciate it and I'm so proud of all the work you're doing. And this week's challenge is the same as the challenge before spring break, okay? Because I know that a lot of you had a difficult time with posting a video. So I just wanted to give you another opportunity to post videos. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching your friends' videos over spring break. And I hope that you guys can make similar videos. You can do videos like cooking videos again if you like, or you can show me something that you learned at home to do, like someone might have learned how to make their bed, or maybe someone learned how to put all their toys in nice organized bins to make it nice and neat for their mommies and daddies. Or maybe you just wanna show me something fun you were doing, like playing a game outside, or maybe drawing something or making something. So I'm looking forward to those videos. Remember to, this week's challenge is to post a video um, and we will be learning some more with all the kinder teachers. Um, look forward to all those activities. Hope you have fun with them. And remember, they're all just ideas. You can definitely do other things and Misconception and Miss Park love to see those ideas. So please keep posting on Class Dojo, okay? Um, I miss you guys. Hope you enjoyed our morning meeting. I can't wait to see you guys all on our Zoom meeting on Friday. Um, and take care. Have a good week. Bye.